Hey yo, what's good you too? My <laughs> man Sess, it's your boy 2K to God. Welcome to the Gods of Boxing Talk. It's been a hot minute. We've been doing our thing, you know, had to had to put this on the back burner, but now we back and we're coming back with the prediction of a mega fight that's supposed to happen tonight between Keith Thurman and Sean Porter. Now Keith Thurman, he's 26 and 0 with 22 knockouts. He is the current WBA 147 pound champion, and he's going up against Sean Porter. He's uh, 26 and 0, one loss, one draw with 16 knockouts. And he is the former IBF 147 pound champion, losing that title to none other than Mr. Kell Brook. Now, Sess. What up? <laughs> what you got for me, man? Break this shit down for the people. Ah, uh, man, okay. Uh, first off, I want to start by saying congratulations to my uh, to my Cavaliers, you know what I'm saying, for pulling off <laughs> that uh, victory. Word. got to get, get that out first. Word. Um, <laughs> all right, but, <laughs> but nah, man, I really, really, really like this fight. This is a very, very tough fight um, for me to kind of predict and break down. Right. Because both fighters have styles that can actually beat each other if they <laughs> if, if, if they employ those styles throughout the fight. Mm -hmm. um, first off, with first off, I'm not gonna give my prediction, but let me just break it down. First off, let's go to Sean Porter. Mm -hmm. If Porter is able to employ that smothering uh, type of style, if he's able to stay up, if he's able to stay on top of Keith Thurman for the majority of the fight. Uh, and I mean from round one to whenever it ends. If, it, if, it, if that's in the 12th round, then that's what he's going to have to do. If, that, if it's in the sixth round, then that's what he's going to have to do. Um, and he has to let his hands go, which we both know that's not a problem for Sean Porter. That's the one thing I will give him is that he will let his hands go, and he's very, very active. He's very busy. He doesn't seem to get tired. Um, he's one of them. He's one of them. He's just a dog. He's just on top of you all day long. Right. Now, what Keith Thurman is going to have to do is Thurman is going to have to, um, I believe it'll be a bit tougher of a fight for Keith okay. because I believe Keith is going to have to actually do a couple <clears throat> different things, whereas I believe Sean can just employ his style and, um, and stay on top of Keith the whole time. Mm -hmm. What Keith, Keith has to do is he can A, use footwork, use lateral movement, move around the ring, uh, and pull Sean into shots. Okay. Okay. Uh, with the type of style that that Sean Porter has, he literally walks in the shit. You know. Um, now, or Keith can be. He can keep his jab in front of Thurman. I'm sorry. Keep his jab in front of Porter mm -hmm. and set his shots up that way. Word. Now, by him doing that, he's gonna have to really, really, really be using a very effective jab. A real good stiff hard jab, and he's gonna have to um, he's gonna have to um, uh, uh, let his hands go off of that jab. Okay, so that's what I think that he has to do. He he needs to do A and B to uh, let me say this: if he does A and B, he gets the knockout. Okay, if he does either or, I can see this. I can see him dropping Sean, but I can also see the fight going twelve rounds. Mm. So you so, think Keith Thurman can knock Sean Porter out? There's a possibility. I mean, there's always oh, a, absolutely. There's always a possibility, but you really feel that this could happen in this fight. Absolutely. And let me tell you why, 2K. We talked about it. We went over <laughs> it. The reason why is because of the punches that Keith Thurman has the potential to land. Absolutely. If Keith was just throwing hard shots and, you know, shit like that, which he does, but Keith actually lands some very good punches when he's knocking these dudes out. Oh yeah. The main punch that I'm looking for, that we're both <laughs> looking for, we both caught it, we both talked about it. Throw it out. Is the fucking uppercut. Yep. That's all Keith has to do. Yep. Um, when I said, when I, what I said earlier, if Keith pulls him into a punch, that needs to be the punch he pulls him into. Sean does not see that punch. He hangs too low. He has his head to, uh, and he and he has his head down Absolutely. all the time. Absolutely. When he comes, he uh, um, I, it, it's almost like he blindly comes in. He's yes. just looking to get off the punches <clears throat> that he wants to throw. He's not necessarily looking 
for certain punches to come back at him. And if he is looking for punches to come back at him, he's looking for straights. Yes. He's he's not looking for something coming coming underneath or coming around, which was evident in the Kell Brook fight. A lot of fans go back and watch that Brook fight. Brook check left hooked him the whole fucking fight. He ran Sean into that check hook. Yep. And then he would tie him up. Or he ran Sean into a right hand, and then he would tie him up and grab him. Um, I don't see Keith being as grabby, if that's a word, as <laughs> Kell Brook. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as Kell Brook. Well, he's not a holder. He didn't. He didn't hold. After, yep. He didn't hold when he was hurt against Guerrero, and he didn't hold when he was hurt against Luis Collazo. Absolutely, so, absolutely. And, and my and last Diego point. Chavez. Okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, exactly. My last point. My last point is um, the fight that really hit me to Keith Thurman and really showed me that uh, that Keith can dig down. Um, it wasn't the Guerrero fight when he had that fucking bowling ball on his head. It wasn't that fight. <laughs> it was the fight that Keith did yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where I really felt that um, that Keith had to dig down because Diego Chavez um, is not a scrub. Right. He, back well, back then he wasn't a scrub. Okay. Now I don't know what he got going on. But Keith had to dig down. He had to find that second, um, that 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 inner competitor, man. Yeah. And he really did that in that fight, and he was able to uh, come out victorious. So Absolutely. I fully expect him to do it in this fight. Absolutely. And 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 uh, to even further your point about Sean Porter running into those, uh, uh, looking only for straight shots. That's how Adrian Broner was able to check left hook him in that 11th or 12th round. I can't remember what round that was, yep. but he checked left hooked him too. And that's what dropped Sean Porter. Now, my biggest thing, I mean, you've already touched on, on almost everything that I could say. So I'm gonna play a little bit of devil's advocate. advocate. Okay. okay. My biggest thing about Keith Thurman is his movement is not that great. He does mm. have movement. Absolutely. He showed that against Leonard Bundu. He showed that he could box yeah. from the outside. He showed that he could move laterally. He showed that he could play the matador, you know, against the raging bull. Absolutely. Yeah. But it's not the kind of raging bull that was in the ring with Keith Thurman when he fought Leonard Bundu as the one that he will be in the ring with today. Now, Good point. Sean Porter, like you said, it's just like, <laughs> you know what this motherfucker reminds me of? Like somebody got a chain around this nigga's neck, you know what I'm saying? And the dog is like doing this shit, trying to get at the person. And then yeah. as soon as the bell rang, they let that chain go, boom. That's Sean yeah. Porter to me, bro. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Okay. Now, somebody said, I won't mention their names. <laughs> but somebody said on, on one of the many social media sites that I'm on, he said, or she said, that... Sean Porter has beautiful technique. Now, oh. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, it is what it is. That's their opinion. But if you watch boxing and you understand what's going on, Sean Porter really doesn't provide much technique in his attack. He has a game plan that he goes in there with, and his game plan is to maul his opponent to smother his opponent so that he is so overwhelmed that he can't get off the punches that he wants to get off that he can't move the way he wants to move that he can't defend the way that he normally defends Absolutely. that is sean porter and kenny porter's strategy it has nothing to do with technique if no. you look at it because if it has something to do with technique like my man said he wouldn't be coming in like this yeah you see what i'm saying if you're yeah. gonna if you're gonna maul in as an ex inside fighter is telling you from myself, if you're gonna maul in, you come in like this. Yeah. Or you come in yeah. like this, like Mike Tyson yeah. used to do. Yeah. You don't come in like this and you leave yourself wide open for uppercuts. Mm -hmm. That's the key thing for me with Keith Thurman. He's gonna, I see the uppercut all night long. If he's smart, all he has to do is take a page right out of Kell Brooks' book. Yeah. Uppercut. Check left, uh, left hook, tie up. Now I know yeah. that's gonna that's gonna piss everybody off. Like, I don't wanna see that shit. I wanna see a war. I wanna <laughs> see motherfuckers get knocked out. I wanna see blood and guts and 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 semen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? They wanna see every fucking thing. That's not the point here. The way Keith Thurman wins this fight and gets out of this fight without being completely fucked up or damaged or 
you know, <laughs> walking around with another neck injury like he had previously yeah, before this yeah, fight, right? Yeah, right? Yeah. But the, the way for him not to end up that way is to take a page out of Kell Brooks' book. Yep. Catch him while he's coming in, tie up. Rinse yep. and fucking repeat. Right. <laughs> Sean Porter, all he's got to do, in my opinion, is to keep, to stay in front of Keith Thurman. Smother the fuck out of this dude because I like Keith. Like I said, his movement is not that bad, but I don't think he prefers to move as much. I think yeah. he I think he likes to plant. I think he likes to get all power shots right there in front of you. You know what I'm saying? At a certain distance. I don't think he likes to move around the ring that much. If he needs to, he'll do it. But I think his forte is to plant and to get all power shots right in yeah. front of you. I mean that's that's what boxer punchers do. So with that said, Sean Porter needs to make Keith Thurman a planter. That's yes. how he wins that fight. Stay in front of him, maul his ass, smother him, don't let him defend, don't let him get any punches off. Stay in front of him. Kind of like he did in sparring, in the sparring yeah. session, but in yeah. the sparring session, I thought Keith Thurman did a little bit more. Yeah, but, I did too. But that particular strategy that he employed in the sparring session, that uh, 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 Sean Porter employed, that is what's gonna win him the fight. Absolutely. So, predictions. <laughs> man, damn. Man, I've been like this all my yeah, fucking week, yeah, bro. Man. I have no idea up to today. Mm, okay. I'm going with Keith, man. Uh huh. Okay. I'm going. I, I know. I'm going. I know. I'm going with <laughs> Keith. I think. Um. I think he will take a page out of Kell, Bro uh, uh, Kell Brook's book. He's actually already mentioned that he will do that. Um, Sean Porter is a guy that doesn't have a plan B. He only has a plan A, and that's it. Yep, and that's his, plan, his plan A is to maul you. I mean, that's why you, you saw that he couldn't adjust against Ke uh, Kell Brook. He couldn't adjust yep. to that. I mean, yep. Kell Brook did the same fucking thing from round one to round two. <laughs> no. you know, yeah. This is the same fucking thing, and, and uh, Sean Porter was unable to adjust. He also didn't adjust to Julio Diaz. That's why that fight was a draw. <clears throat> so Julio Diaz adjusted and got and uh, yep. uh, ended up making the fight closer. Sean Porter did the same shit. Yep. Even against Adrian Broner, he never adjusted. No, nor did he need to. Yeah. But even when Adrian Broner finally let his hand go and threw the check left hook, Sean Porter got up and proceeded to do the same thing. Yep. <laughs> so, so. With that aspect right there of his game, him not being able to adjust and go to a plan B, I think Keith Thurman will eventually adjust. I see Sean Porter taking a lot of the closer, uh, the earlier rounds. Later on in the fight, I see Keith Thurman pulling away, taking this fight by unanimous decision. What do you think, man? Man, I'm in 100% agreement with everything that you just said, <laughs> including <laughs> the prediction. Word. Uh, definitely, man. I'm going, I'm going with Keith Thurman. Um, just to add on to that, I like what I've seen from Keith at the weigh-in. Oh, yeah. Um, he was actually a bit more animated in front of Sean than he has been in the build-up to this fight. Um, uh, you know, he, he said his things when he's done his own personal interviews and, and, and things of that nature. But finally, finally, he did something in front of and in, uh, in front of Sean, and he was telling Sean, "Hey, you going to sleep? You know, this boy going to sleep. I want to see that because you're setting the ex you're setting the expectations uh, high for yourself. Right. You know, you're 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 um you're you know you're you're telling the fans that you're gonna live up to that one time uh, nickname." And, and and that's what I wanted to see. I want to see. I wanted to see him be a bit more animated, and uh, he did that at the weigh-in. So I'm fully expecting him to come out in the fight and um, and fight that way, you know, and come after Sean that way and try to get a knockout, you know, or or, or well let Sean come after him and uh, um, you know set him up for a knockout. So that's what I wanted to see. I'm going for Keith Thurman. I'm ready for a great fight though. Ready for a great fight, and possibly the winner of this fight uh, is looking for a unification bout with Danny Garcia. Oh, also, please. also Dave Avenisian, the guy that just beat Sean, uh, Shane Mosley. He's the number one contender, but he probably won't get that fight. <laughs> mm. All right, YouTube, it is what it is. Do it. Do in the comment section. Be real. This is real talk for real fans.